Hi, in this video we will take a look at a sample where we use the pop form stack, uh, more specifically how to automate text lines. So here we are in business one and I have a button here that automate text lines. Let me press it so we can see it in action and then take it from there. So you can see I have a sales order with just one line, but I can press this button to add one more line, add a text line and add one more line again. Let's quickly see that again. And there we go. So the way we do this is by this uh, universal function. And let's quickly comment out all the lines one by one, including the power form stack that we'll get to uh, and see in action what uh, is going on. So the first thing that happens is nothing out of the ordinary other than just setting a value to A0001. We'll probably not have it hard coded, but it could be. So if I press it and see that, of course this just happens. Nothing special uh, here, uh, a normal set command. The next one I do is I'm setting column 157, which is the type field here. And I'm setting it to a T, because if we take text here and put a mouse over this field, you can see in the lower left corner that the technical value for text line is actually a T. And you can see it pops up this screen. So that is essentially what we're going to do. So we will update this one and press and end up here. Next, what we're going to do is because a new screen came along, we are going to tell it that it is on a new screen. And if you saw the theory video about pop form stack, now we are essentially saying that this screen is the current form and this screen is the parent form. We'll see that once we set up debug as well here. So that's the next step. And then we're going to set values. And I, you can see I'm just using normal set commands. But because of the activate, it's now happening on this screen. So let's see that part in action. So we got the text. Next thing we're going to do is press this button. This is item one. So we're simply just going to do that. And now the screen is gone, but not from the macro. It wouldn't know that the screen went away just because one was pressed. So you might think, yeah, I can just set 38.1.1 to set the second item. But if we do that, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the text. So we can try to press this. Now, all things will work until it suddenly says invalid form. And that is because this line is trying to work on a form that doesn't exist anymore. And that is why we need the pop form stack in order to tell it, hey, go back and set what was previous parent sales order to, um, to the current. Again, please see the video uh, on the theory of this uh, if you uh, don't know what I'm talking about. So let's do it like this. And we will see that we can see the second line just as we started. Let me quickly turn on the debugger so we can see essentially what's going on and also how you can keep track of all this. So let me go to the open sales order again and press the button. Now we're in debug mode and I will just say we start with setting the first line. That of course adds the thing. Second line, open the screen. That's okay. Activate. We can't really see anything happening other than, let me actually do it again so we can see it in total. 
because we can actually see, you can see it says active form and parent form or current form. Um, so it says, yeah, while we start this, the current form is the sales order. So that's the reason why when we do the set, it happens on that form. When we do the T, it happens on that form. And now if I press next, try to pay your attention to here, you can see that the parent form is now sales order. And the current form is this odd number. You can see it doesn't have a title, so it's a bit difficult. But this is essentially just the, uh, the form type of the screen. And when we press set, it of course now happens on the active form. When we press click now, again, you will see something special happen in that it says active form. It has no clue what that is because it's not in scope anymore, meaning it's gone. Um, and again, you might think, could Boim not just detect that? No, uh, unfortunately not. Uh, it is uh, you who needs to control the entire flow here. And that is where you can see now the parent form is still uh, the sales order. But the active form is out of scope and that's the reason why line 7 here failed before. Now we can go in and say pop form stack. And it's just a simple command. And pay attention down here again. The parent form will uh, become empty and the active form will become the sales order again. That's what's happening. Uh, the parent form is technically also itself now, but it doesn't really matter uh, because the current form is now the one we can work with and we get our line. So that is how it works. And also you can use this as just an example of how you actually automate the text uh, text lines in documents. So with that, thank you for attending and I hope it was beneficial and see you in the next one.